So a third coin ops next two plus build. Well, the first, the second coin ops two plus build because um, the last one I reviewed was the unofficial version. And so this is the official version. The biggest difference here, if you notice, there's seven round uh, menu items on the left hand side now because this one includes consoles so you still have those six arcade categories and then you have consoles here you got a few uh, gamecube games you got any snes genesis psp dreamcast playstation but just a few games of each kind of the best of the best this is only about a 26 gigabyte image by the time you extract it and everything else so in this video we're just going to go ahead and check out the entire game list and the sections and how it runs and then we'll play a few games and then lastly i'll share with you some settings and some things you should know if this is you know if you're new to coin ops and setting this all up but uh it's beautiful it's looking great and i love the additional consoles it really makes this more complete so let's dive into it All right, so looks like we have an additional menu here. So this is the new one right here, which I'm assuming is consoles. And here's gonna be your consoles. And then if you go down one more, you're gonna have your, um, your settings menu where you can change the themes. You could do a startup video on and off glass effects on and off scan lines glowing scan lines on and if you guys look look at the background here you notice the ninja that so you see how it's like scan lines on scan lines glowing scan lines off right so it tells you what it'll look like background music on or off and then shut down and then you press up or down it goes back to the menus here now it's my understanding it looks like from looking at this the consoles here or the games here are going to be almost it looks almost identical to the coin ops next to build yeah so you're gonna have your old school arcades here pretty standard stuff mario brothers i think the arcade version yeah so nba jam outrun arcade version rampage snow bros you do got your tetris arcade track and field and then you're back all right now we have our retro shooters so yeah this is looking like a similar collection here some shooters GI Joe great game right here a lot of fun Galaga Galaxy Force 2. So it's a, it's a nice mix of old school and some, you know, little newer stuff as well. And as you see the video snaps, it, it runs great. Like there's very little lag. That's what I like about coin ops in general. Is it's like kind of no BS. Really fast. You got Star Wars, Tempest. And then we're back. All right. These are run and gun. So you got quite a bit here. Demon Front, great game right there. Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts. Some really cool titles here. Like every single one of these games is phenomenal. I mean, I guess it's, you know, most people are gonna say that about most games they love, but these are like every one of these games. I think if you just randomly a game you are going to be happy so this isn't a every single game in the world image it's kind of the best of the best all right here we go we're punching games aka beat-em-ups Cadillacs and dinosaurs Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, Prisoners of War, Punisher. You got The Simpsons. You should have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, both of them. And then you should have X-Men as well. Yeah, X-Men arcade game. 
and then back to Alien Storm. All right, here's your plane games, your plane shooters. So you got a lot of really good ones here. Be careful though, some of these could cause you to have seizures if you're susceptible, so be careful. Raidens. Twin Cobra. I really like this one right here. It's a fun game. It's, it's, it's just challenging enough. Alright, back to your 1941s. And then lastly, they call it the Fight Club or your Fighters, your Street Fighters, Dark Stalkers. So you got Street Fighter 2. There's more Street Fighters in here. You got Killer Instinct 1 and 2. I feel like this collection actually has a few games added to it. You got your MKs. And yes, there should be an Ultimate MK, but it's going to be in U, I believe, instead of M. So just like Street Fighter, there's one of them back there as well. And you got your Alphas and your Third Strike and your Gem Fighter. So you get another Street Fighter, and then you got your next Mortal Kombat. So it's going by alphabetical by the name of the ROM, so that's why it's might be a little weird. Like this one's got H for Hyper Street Fighter. Even though it should be Street Super Street Fighter Hyper. Might be first if you're doing alphabetical. Okay, so now we have consoles. Okay, that makes sense to me now. I was like, well, how do you know if it's Super Nintendo or Nintendo? You know, like Castlevania, for example. But here it is. It, it looks like it's showing you the system on the bezel. So you just got to go by the bezel. So like, which Castlevania is this? It's the Castlevania for PlayStation. So Comic Zone, obvious Genesis. This is Genesis, but this is Super Nintendo. You can see the Super Nintendo outline there. PlayStation, Super Nintendo. I mean, these are all obvious. Genesis, Super Nintendo. So here you go. We got a GameCube. That's cool. I didn't know if they'd go all the way up to GameCube. So you, it looks like you. Be curious to see what emulator they're using for that. Nintendo 64, Double Dash. So again, a, a GameCube game. And then a Dreamcast game, SNES. Sonic CD. That's interesting. So, well, I guess, it, you know, the CD was a... I feel like the bezel should be different, though, for this. Sonic's, Star Fox 64, more Genesis, Dreamcast, SNES. SNES, Nintendo 64, SNES, 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 PlayStation. All right, so that's PSP. I like the rumble in this game. I like how it changes directions. It's kind of cool. Myself into now.
Man, they run after you. So I hope I've confused you all at this point. No, I'm just kidding. I hope, I'm sorry about that. But um, this is the third Coin Ops Next 2 Gems pack I'm reviewing. I did the Coin Ops Next 2 Gems regular, which is a very bare bones, barely any games. Then there was a Coin Ops Next 2 Gems plus um, unofficial, which I did a review on. The second, that was my second review, which just added a few more arcade games and things. And then now there's this one, which also is the first one to also add consoles to it. So now we have not only a great arcade set, we also have some consoles added to it. So once you download it, you just wanna extract it with 7-zip. You're gonna get this folder right here. Um, there's some uh, fixes. If, if this is your first time installing this stuff on your new computer, if you don't already have these installed, you need to install it. My computer already has them on there. Um, some really cool stuff in advanced configurations as far as like you know, just bezels and the way you want it to look and do you want dimming effect, video effect, um, and then bezel effects. A lot of really cool stuff. These are called batch files. You just double click them and they run. So for example, let's just go to Spectrum. So now our theme is gonna be Spectrum when we launch Coin Ops. And you know, or I could do a track mode dimming on or off. You got lots of really cool stuff there. Helpers is cool because there is this shelling guide which will allow you to boot up directly into Coin Ops. This is, if this is gonna be like an arcade cabinet or something like that, and then there's some additional options you could do in here. Um, collections is where your ROMs are gonna be stored, and then emulators is where your emulators are gonna be stored. Most of this stuff is running off of MAME and RetroArch, as you see. Um, and then uh, you have your FAQ section over here, as far as like controllers, how to connect a PlayStation 3 controller, how to do a USB uh, gun, and then your regular controls within coin ops, and then you know some optimization settings and what do each of these um, bezels do? This one's really cool because it tells you exactly which bezel will do what. Um, that's that's gonna get you in here. Uh, your controls, you can change them here as far as your um, coin ops controls. You can go ahead and change those there. With the other controls, you're gonna have to change those within the emulator. So I was using the 8-bit Doe SN30 Pro Plus controller and it worked out of the box for all this stuff, but it's running RetroArch so it's really easy to change your controls and then within coin ops you can change their scripts to change the bezels and if you saw you know like with um metal slug for example i did have scan lines on and so you can kind of play around with that to get it the right look but overall this thing runs just so smooth and with pcs and you can get cheap older pcs that are going to run this just fine like you know check out my optiplex builds and stuff like that but uh, it's a great way to emulate it's full screen you can put an arcade cabinet all sorts of flexibility there 
and I'm just excited to see some more packs, especially with coin ops next too. And my understanding is it's still not complete, like there's still tweaks and things happening to it. This isn't the finished product, but um, I still want to show it off and check it out because I'm excited and I just can't wait to see what um, they come up with next because um, there's a lot of really great stuff. So I'll put links to their Discord if you're interested, but uh, that's what I think, love it. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.